All right. Uh, ep episode two, part four. So we have <laughs> we have talked about the color genetics and everything for uh, for forty five minutes, and we will still continue. So um, we had went through some uh, some basics of the of the genes and some uh, some uh, definitions some examples of the colors and uh, we talked about uh, the, the different colored variants and what kind of a bit, uh, what sorry my I'm just losing my English language <laughs> again so um, what what color colored puppies we will have from uh, from two reds we 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 know that we can't get brindle from two reds and um, and now we are going to cover some some other information about the colors. So uh, black and seal is something something that uh, people talk about true black, true black, and and seal when you can see that it's not like fully black. There there might be even some stripey things. So so what is your uh, what is your knowledge about these two things? Black is black that, that we know, but uh, is there something behind black? Can there be something hidden, or, or uh, can you explain about this? If somebody knows exactly what seal is genetically and how it, how it is inherited, please tell me, because I haven't been able to find any kind of sure uh, information on that. Uh, some think uh, that it's an incomplete dominance uh, with dogs who carry red, uh, meaning, we're talking about K-series, uh, that the dog has one dominant uh, uppercase K, mm -hmm. that makes it black, but also has a lowercase K-Y, or K-B-R there, that uh, kind of so-called shines through. It's an incomplete dominance, meaning that uh, you can, in a certain light, see some reddish uh, colour kind of shining through. But I, I will not be comfortable enough to say that this is it, this is what causes seal. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, I haven't found any very solid resources on that. Mm -hmm. So again, if the dog has this uh, lowercase, uh, uppercase K and BR there, isn't the dog Brindle itself? Uh, well, the dog is, technically speaking, the dog would be carrying Brindle. Mm -hmm. The uppercase K will mean that phenotypically the dog expresses the black but it can have uh, um, this brindling, kind of, he can be a carrier of brindling. Mm -hmm. So the dog carries brindle. Uh, so a black dog uh, can be a carrier of brindle also. Yes. And when you put this dog together with, uh, with a red dog, can you get brindle? Yes, you can. Okay, so... Then the brindle is is not dominant. What are you saying that because so far I have understood that to be able to get brindle puppies, one of the parents needs to be brindled. But now you are actually saying otherwise. Uh, well, in good question. In K series, there is not. Uh, it's not the case of be one dominant and one recessive, but we have a dominance hierarchy. It is black, the top uppercase K is the most dominant one. The next one in, uh, in the hierarchy is Brindle, KBR, and the bottom one, the most kind of most recessive, uh, is the KY. The red dog, the KY, the Y stands for yellow. 
uh, and and that means that this this dog is lacking brindling lacking black this ky is recessive and the brindling uh, is dominant over the red dog so when we're talking about a red dog versus a brindle dog yes the brindle is dominant but the black is kind of even more dominant top dominant so there is a hierarchy of three different genes uh, in the k series mm -hmm. so uh, yeah when when we're talking about a black dog it can it will phenotypically be black but genotypically it can be a carrier of brindle of brindle mm -hmm. yes but uh, like we already covered, this this uh, hidden brindle cannot be present with uh, with with uh, with red dog. Well, you can't have uh, yes, a red mm. dog cannot hide mm. a brindle mm. gene somewhere. Black, uh, but but black dog can. A black dog can mm. essentially yes, it's okay. a carrier. So we don't uh, we don't actually know what causes this so-called seal. What about uh, the fawn color, so called yellow? Some call this as yellow. Uh, is that uh, connected on, on the red color somehow? Is it, it is it some dilution of the red or? It or is. It is the fawn. What I call fawn. Uh, I think this is something that uh, this is the, that some some uh, some Amstaff people call as a yellow, or well, or. It's a difference in terminology. It mm -hmm. is. Um, I don't have notes about this, so I'm going or to just cream. Which one is it? style. It, it depends on the breed. Mm -hmm. In dachshunds, it is called an English cream. It is caused by the C uh, C yeah. series. But in Amstaffs, we, we we say. Let's let's use fawn because yeah. every we. I think uh, I'm quite sure that everyone knows what uh, what fawn means actually. Fawn so, is is uh, caused by the C-series. It is also a recessive trait. I call this chinchilla dilution. It's not here. It's not in my notes. Don't look for it. No problem. <laughs> Just these this, this letters popping up. So yeah. instead of uh, six letters, we have actually seven. There is also C. Yeah. Okay. Somehow it has... I have missed this. I am... Truly sorry. Uh, <laughs> so the dominant one here is the uppercase C, which mm -hmm. means uh, it has no uh, effect. Uh, is this connected on the red? This is connected to the red. This is the dilution gene, which is called chinchilla dilution, okay, okay. because of the That's cute furry creatures. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it does not affect any black pigment, so the dog or has very little effect. So the dog's nose will still be black. Mm -hmm. And well pigmented. Because and I've well seen, pigmented, yes. I've seen uh, do fawn dogs that have, uh, have pretty awesome good pigments, and that's... that's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it just okay. affects the red, the Okay. Feel melanin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a uh, tricolor. We talked about the tricolor, but uh, we actually have uh, one tricolor. Uh, I'm the female at home. It's Jana's, Jana's favorite crazy cha cha. But uh, <laughs> why is uh, tricolor a, por a problem? Because it's it's also mentioned in in, in the standard. But uh, what I have been reading about the, the the history of the of the breed and everything, the tricolor actually. As as uh, some of you might know, it is actually a true terrier color, but uh, there is a story about uh, the tricolor. Why is it not uh, to be encouraged? Is because of um, the the old timers, the people, the persons, the, the breeders who were creating this breed. Uh, it, uh, on the on the on the first days, uh, would say that the, in the beginning of the of the history the they wanted to separate the breed from the others that I think were still kind of similar looking looking dogs. And bull terriers, bull terriers, pit bulls, uh, pit bull uh, stuff. Uh, this is uh, another topic we yeah, can talk it's about. Semantics but there. Uh, the story says that the, the old timers, the first breeders. 
they wanted to make an Amstaff uh, different and they used they wanted to take this color away from the, the color pattern but but it is a beautiful color a true terrier color what is your what are your thoughts about this I get weak in the knees for all black and tans. <laughs> black and tan tricolor. Black and tan is a tricolor in Amstaff because Amstaff do not come without white. And I have actually seen. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I need to interrupt. I. I actually have seen black and tan dogs that doesn't have white or is there just minimal a minimal white just a minimum white somewhere minimal these, white, yeah. these black and tan dogs that I, I I consider as a black and tan they also look more like I would say dirty the, the red uh, the, the tan color is more dirty or there is a mask maybe or something but but our tricolor color is, is actually the colors are, are clean shiny uh, clear and she is beautiful. I couldn't agree with you more. Mm. Uh, a tricolor dog can also have a mask, which means that they won't have color points kind mm. of on the face, depending mm. on the size mm. of the mask. Mm. Uh, and they can also be brindle. Mm. So, uh, but a tricolor, which is. Mm, I haven't seen a brindle tricolor. Uh, check out bull terriers or duxies. <laughs> okay. uh, but <clears throat> the thing is, dry colors are starting to pop up more and more. And what is the thing that uh, both parents, no matter what color they are phenotypically, they need to be carriers of tri color. Mm -hmm. our, our latest litter is an, an example. Like I said, we have a tri color. It's, it's our own bred puppy. It comes from a, a brindle father. Uh, brindle and white father and uh, red and white uh, okay. mother. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are both uh, dry color carriers. And but what it, some people do not recognize is that the siblings of the tri color, the puppies that are in the same litter, can also not be carriers. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. Uh, among uh, Cha Cha's sisters and brothers, uh, some of them might be carriers of tricolor. Statistically, some of them are, mm -hmm. but statistically mm -hmm. also, twenty-five percent of those puppies are do not carry the tricolor gene. Mm -hmm. The gene testing, I suspect, is going to get more popular yeah. as yeah. people like with Ataxia will try to avoid <laughs> getting tricolored puppies yeah, even so though it's basically the the genes uh, the color genes goes uh, similar uh, the, the similar way as if you can say similar way as, as ataxia because ataxia is something that most of the Amstaff people know know so if you have uh, if you have uh, ataxia clear parents both parents are clear the, the puppies are all clear if you have a, 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 another parent is clear another is, is a carrier then you know how many affect uh, how many clear, clear and in, in statist statistically stat statistically yeah so the, this the, the is color genes goes like a similar way yes and this is where the punnett square comes mm -hmm. in handy that yeah. you can write kind of the parents yeah. known or suspected um, um, genotype in that specific mm -hmm. series in there and you can see statistically yeah. what the progeny will be mm -hmm. or reverse engineer the parents yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That's, that's 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 interesting um yeah like i said like i mentioned in the in the first part of this episode there will be a lot of information and uh I'm more like practical person. Jana is more. Uh, she knows all these these letters and and Y's and W's and, and upper and lower cases. But uh, and I, I just get annoyed. <laughs> but uh, the the next topic that I would like to cover is uh, show colors. So uh, so called show colors uh, in the modern Amstaff world. And also in the past, uh, there there is uh, there is kind of a, um, how how would I say the breeders, the people, they prefer colors. 
certain markings of the markings, white. Markings, markings of white, yes. Pet exactly. peeve of